Hey people, it's me Anya. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the stay at home book tag and I'm looking down at the questions. This video was inspired by Giannis at Infinite Bookish and I'll link whole video in the description below. But before I get into the tag, I just wanted to take a moment to um, explain how I've been doing lately. So currently with my reading, I'm not reading anything at the moment because I'm in this like limbo stage because I haven't read anything since the 14th and that's when I filmed my recent reads video and that's the like the lightness of hands is the last book that I've read recently and I feel like since I read so so much I feel like there's this misconception that I'm reading all the time which is false and I just wanted to say that with us all in quarantine and with everybody being so like productive and like tackling all their books on the TV all and all of that. I just wanted to remind everybody that you don't have to do that necessarily. Like your idea of productivity is different from everybody else's and like it's valid to feel FOMO because everybody else is like doing all these things and playing Animal Crossing and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, like it's your life and I don't I just don't want anybody to feel like they have to do something just because of everybody else, you know? So, like, just because everybody is exploring all these new hobbies and doing all this exercise and all this stuff, I just, I just don't want you to feel FOMO. FOMO is not a feeling I would recommend. And if you want to be, like, lazy during this time of quarantine, it's just as valid as being, like, society's idea of product, of being productive. So anyway, <clears throat> the first question is laying in bed. Name a book that you could have or have read in one day. I've read so many books in one day. I really have. The last one that I can think of that I read in like two hours is Everless written by Sarah Holland. I rated that book three stars, but not enough to continue the series. So like in my previous tag, like I've stopped reading the rest of Sarah Holland's books. So, there's that. Um, yeah. Question two, snacking. Name a guilty pleasure book. I don't have a guilty pleasure book because I don't think that anybody should feel guilty about the things that they love. Like, just because you love a book and the general consensus is that it's trash or something doesn't mean that your feelings are any less valid, you know? So, I don't have a guilty pleasure book because I don't feel guilty about my pleasures. Number three, Netflix. Name a series that you want to start. I don't have any series that I want to start, I don't think. I mean, like, if I think about my TBR, which I have a digital TBR on Goodreads, I don't have a physical one since I don't buy books. If I think about it, there are all a lot of, like, debut novels, but, like, since I have super low expectations for all of them, I don't really have a specific series that I want to start, and I feel like, on the other hand, a lot of people are, like, finishing like, there are a lot of books that's the last book in a series that is coming out this year, such as, like, Queen of Volts. So, yeah, I don't have a series that I want to start because I feel like I'm finishing a lot of series this year. <clears throat> Question four, Deep Clean. Name a book that has been on your TBR for ages. So, most of the book books on my TBR, since my TBR is simply just a long list of books, that I'm interested in and my expectations for those books range from three stars to five stars. Most of those books haven't come out yet but one that has come out that I've been wanting to read for so long and honestly at this point I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get to it but it's called Jubilee Journey written by Carolyn Mile and it's the sequel to White Lilacs or at least the companion novel since it's set like a century later or something. Anyway I really want to read that book but I don't know if I'm ever going to get to it since I haven't really seen it at the library or at the bookstore, I say at the bookstore as if I go to the bookstore frequently or something. I don't. So I don't know if I'm ever going to get to that book, but I'd love to one of these days. And I haven't deleted it from my TBR yet because I do still really want to get to it. So, yes. Um, Five, Animal Crossing. Name a book you recently got because of the hype. So the last book is probably Lovely Wool written by Julie Bailey. Um, you already know my thoughts on it because I recently uploaded my last recent leads video, which I'll link in the description below. 
but basically I liked that book but I didn't love it and I definitely don't think that it's worth its hype or oh, any of its hype at all honestly like it's a good book if you like like romantic love stories basically lovely wool is the love child lovely wool is the child of 1917 and titanic which are two films that i honestly think are not worth the hype at all so anyway six productivity name a book that you learned or had an impact on you i don't know like lots of books had an impact on me just because i loved them so much so, what's a book that I really, really loved that I don't talk about often? I don't know. My mind keeps going back to The Poet X written by Elizabeth Acevedo, which is one of my favorite contemporaries, but only because, like, it, that's the first book that came to mind because I'm recently going to reread it really soon. So that, I've talked about it before in a recent, like, recommendations video last month, but it's so good. No, two months ago. Anyway, it was so, so good. And with the file on high, it wasn't as good. But hopefully, Elizabeth Acevedo's next book, which is coming out in like two and a half weeks or something, is hopefully just as good. Seven, FaceTime. Name a book that you were gifted. I don't get gifted books very often. Because normally, like for Christmas and stuff, I receive gift cards for bookstores and like book places. So I don't get like an actual physical book. And besides, my taste has changed so much. So the last book that I remember being gifted is when I was like nine years old. I really loved Roll Doll. And he has a book and it's called like Henry Sugar or something. I'll put it up here. But like that's the last book I remember being gifted even though I was like nine years old. <coughs> and it was so long ago. Question eight, self-care. What's something you've done recently to take care of yourself? filming youtube videos because like booktube is like my favorite platform for me to share my opinions with people without any source of judgment because i feel like that's one of the reasons why when i was younger i would never talk about the stuff that i really liked because i was so afraid that people would judge me and that people would hate what i had to say and besides when i was younger people really did not do a good job of like listening to me and like understanding me and now that i'm older like at the end of the day, I'm the only one who truly understands everything. And God understands me, and that's the most important opinion that I should listen to. Nine, bonus. Name a book coming out soon. So, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I've been in this kind of, like, limbo state with my reading. <clears throat> because lots of great books come, came out on the 14th of April, and I'm waiting for books to come out on the 21st, which is in a few days hence why I'm in this limbo state and I haven't like really read anything lately so a book that I'm looking forward to that's coming out on the 21st I think unless it's been postponed is Time of Our Lives and I forgot the author duo for this <clears throat> but I know that they they wrote Always Never Yours and then they wrote another book and those two books were Shakespeare retellings and Time of Our Lives isn't at all and it's about these two kids who are going to college and I think that that age group is so underrated and so underrepresented and it, especially in YA and it should be really talked about more because that age of transition is like so so important and yeah like I went through that and I think that it's like so important and it should be talked about more in YA anyway so that book I'm really excited for it and I hope to read it really soon so yes so yeah, that's the end of this book tag. This video, I forgot if I said this at the beginning already, but this video was inspired by Giannis, aka Infinite Bookish, and I'll link her video in the description below. I know that she's not the creator of this tag, but I don't know who is the creator of this tag. So yeah, watch her video because I remember, I think that she linked to the creator of this tag in her video. But speaking of small, fellow small booktubers, with this time of quarantine, <clears throat> those there have been a lot of people who have made, there have been a lot of people whom I've discovered who have like booktube channels and stuff like that. So I've added quite a lot of people to my fellow small booktuber playlist, which is, which is linked in the description below and has been linked in the description below since January or something when I created the playlist. So please go check out that playlist. I love 
I love that I have this like platform to shout out my fellow small booktubers because I think it's really important to support your peers. And I don't actually know if that playlist has worked. Like I don't know if people have actually like been using it. But anyway, even if you haven't, use it now because the people on that playlist, I put them on that playlist because they are so creative and so wonderful and people should really support them and they all deserve more subscribers. And it's just so amazing. I know that booktube like isn't about the numbers, but like, I don't know. I just feel like people should watch their videos more often. <clears throat> so if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up, comment down below if I should do more book tags, and then subscribe to those people on that playlist, unsubscribe for me, and thanks for watching.